multiplication word problems. Once you've had the chance to practice the questions in the stage one to four videos, you're ready to transfer your skills to word problems. So let's have a look at an example. So our question reads, it takes John 24 minutes to walk around the park. How long would it take John to walk around the park eight times? Now, if you've watched one of our previous videos on solving word problems, you'll remember that when we tackle a word problem, we always need to make sure that we bring our rucksack with us. So rucksack, a reminder that it stands for read, underline, choose calculation, solve, answer, check. So let's read our question. It takes John 24 minutes to walk around the park. How long would it take John to walk around the park eight times? Then once we've read, we need to underline. So we're underlining the important information. So it takes John 24 minutes to walk around the park. Well, that 24 minutes is important, isn't it? How long would it take John to walk around the park eight times? Well, eight times is going to be important and, and how long? Now we need to choose the calculation. Well, one of the clues is in my question, it says eight times. So I know that it's going to be a multiplying question because we've got to see how long it takes John to walk around the park and we know how long it takes him to go once. So how long will it take him to go eight times? And now we need to solve our calculation. So what we're going to do, we've worked out that we need to do 24 times eight. So I'm going to do short division. I'm going to set it out as I had done before, hundreds, tens and units, and I'm going to do 24 times by eight. So eight times four is 32. Eight times two is 16, plus the three, 17, 18, 19. So my answer is 192. Then A is for answer. Now this means, is my answer sensible? Does it look like a sensible answer? Well. If I was to do a rough estimation, I could say, well, 24 is close to 20. And if I times that by eight, I know that 20 times by eight is 160. And that's close enough to 192. So it's probably a sensible answer that I've given. And now I need to check. Now, it's important when we check, we don't just look at our answer. We've actually got to do that calculation again to make sure we've not made any mistakes. Often it's useful to do the inverse, the opposite. So if you feel comfortable doing division, you could do 192 divided by 8 as a division and see if you got the answer 24. Or if you wanted to, check again, actually write out the calculation again, 24 times 8, making sure that you check carefully. 8 times 2, yes, 8 times 2 is 32, write that in carefully. 8 times, sorry, 8 times 4 is 32, 8 times 2 is 16 plus the three, 192. Yep, yeah, I know that my answer is correct. Another thing I should mention is when you do check, it is important that you check back over your question again, because you can do the calculation again, and you'll get the same answer if you did it correctly the first time. But if that wasn't actually what the question was asking you, so just recap by looking at the question. John, 24 minutes, round the park eight times. Yep, yeah, I do need to do 24 times eight. Now it's your turn to try some word problems. So I'm going to give you some word problems. I'm going to remind you of your rucksack and then you can pause the video, work them out on a piece of paper and then we'll go through the answers. Here are your questions. So don't forget to use rucksack, jot down your answers, make sure you check carefully and then we'll go through and see if you've answered them correctly. Okay, how did you find those questions? Let's go through the answers. So the first question, Tom would have 448 centimetres of wood. Now it's really important that you don't forget the units that you're working with. Is it centimetres, litres, apples, grams, buses, whatever it is, make sure you write the units. Second question, there would be 336 seats on the buses. Question three, five phones altogether would weigh 645 grams. The hockey team, they would make on average 
4,578 passes. And the final question, the green family in 12 days would travel 6,312 kilometres. Well done. Real life word problems are a really important part of maths and make sure that you use the rucksack so that you don't make any careless errors and keep practising.